Hey, um, just a quick little video here to show you my preferred text size. If I'm sitting all the way back in my chair at a comfortable in a comfortable position, you know, back straight up and whatnot, and also um, how the Windows magnifier works. Um, incidentally, for those of you who have never tried it, it's rubbish. And I'll show you why. I'm going to do a Windows R, which on the Mac would be a Command R. There we go. Now, uh, I'm going to activate the zoom utility just to check something here real quick. Okay, JAWS 10 is in there, but we don't want JAWS 10. So this time I'm going to type in Magnify. This will take a moment to load. There we go. Now, if we go into, like I said, the, the cursor is missing. So unless I get really close, I have no idea where I am. Let's go down here. to the magnifier. Okay. Now, the default is two times. Back here, I can't really see that too well. So I am going to double that to four times. Is that on four times? Yeah, that's on four times. And now I'm going to push Enter. This is four times the size. Okay. Look at that. Look at the size of that start uh, button versus the size of the start button here in the lower left hand corner that if I, you know, if I'm close like I am now, my cursor is on. Now, I'm going to go back into the run dialog and I'm going to fire up notepad. I hope I can. Tell me this. Oh, good. This comes with a notepad. Good. Uh, what do we have here? Um, hang on. There we go. Okay, I didn't want to minimize that. Hang on, we'll get all this sorted out. You can tell what a time I'm having navigating with the Windows magnifier though because that cursor is just not there. So I'm going to go ahead and type in something. And actually I'm going to minimize the magnifier dialog there we go. Now, if I highlight this, actually, I'm going to type the same thing twice. Um, lowercase t on test. Now, you can see obviously that it's zoomed because it's zoomed in. It's definitely bigger, but. Um, let me turn off it's 12 o'clock the magnifier for a moment so I'm gonna get out of here okay so the magnifier is off now I've got to keep my eyes close to the screen otherwise it, um, actually I'll just turn on the zoom utility there we go that's better um, I'm gonna go in here see what I can do about adjusting the font size notepad and once I do I'll be able to show you there we go now here we are at 10 I'm gonna put this on 24 and I'm gonna say okay and and 
I'm going to cancel. Now, that's strange. Give me a second. Put 24, enter. Okay. Now. Now with Windows, even 24 is a tad small. It all depends on the font, the characteristics of the font. So let's try... It, well, it's not small, it's just the characteristics of the font make it a little bit tough for me. So I don't want to do a word wrap, I don't know why I click that. So I'm going to type, I'm going to go 28. Let's try 28. And let me highlight this real quick. Just to make sure. Yeah, 28 point font. Now I want you to compare the 28 point font to the size of the text here in the menu bar. Okay? In fact, I discovered earlier tonight when I was printing out some homework that I really do best with 24 point if I'm looking at it from a true distance, that is, with your, like I said, with your back straight up. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much a look at the Windows magnifier and what font suits me best and again uh, this video will be replacing the what font size suits me best on the Mac side um, because that was supposed to couple to another video that I am going to that I either am going to remove or already have removed depending on what time you watch this video anyway um, thank you for watching comments are welcome and have a nice evening